Jeremiah Jones, field agronomist with Fine Air. Kelly Robertson, granular CSA with Precision Crop Services. So Kelly, you and I have been talking the last three or four weeks about some observations that we're seeing out in the fields. Yeah, we're starting to see a lot of uh, problems crop up uh, as a result of the wet spring we've had. So we've been talking about uneven stands we're seeing in corn and soybeans, both. And a lot of those uneven stands, first of all, get attributed back to uh, tillage done when it was too wet. So we're starting to see a lot of uh, the results of tillage done wet, restricted layers caused by tillage, compaction and whatnot, yes. So talking about that, we're seeing uh, restricted root growth. So we're seeing a lot of nutrient deficiencies showing up, you know, sulfur or nitrogen. So in addition to the tillage that was done too wet, a lot of uh, corn and soybeans were planted into wet conditions. So we've got sidewalk compaction. So we've got restricted root growth. Uh, and as a result of that and the tillage, uh, the plants are just not able to get to the nutrients that are there. So we, we sidewalled in our nitrogen. Mm -hmm. We got sidewall compaction there. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of fields with uh, pre-plant anhydrous that you can, you can still see the, the application pass uh, at an angle through the field. Uh, when you, you can literally in some fields, even after the anhydrous was applied and tillage was done, you can still see where the anhydrous toolbar went through the field. When you dig into those areas, what you're finding is a very restricted sidewall compacted knife slot. And so you see yellow plants that uh, have a restricted root that can't get to the nitrogen, and then you're seeing nitrogen still staying in that slot. So by no means is this uh, the world ended, but so what are we gonna do about these problems? Well, the, the, the first problem is, is gonna be that there's gonna be people that are gonna come and tell you that you need to apply more nitrogen or that you need to put a foliar on to correct a nutrient deficiency or do something with uh, an input to try to fix this. And the first thing we want to recognize is, is we're not going to fix these problems with any more of something. So adding more of a chemical or a, a fertilizer or anything is not going to fix a mechanical issue that we created early in the season. I know that in some of your updates I received from him, you got a good statement. It says, what is go? Yeah, goal. <clears throat> so that's our theme this year, goal. Get out and look. Most problems can be avoided if you get out of the tractor cab, get out in the field, look at the tillage tool, look at the soil, look at the planter, and not rely on a monitor or what you're seeing six feet above the ground in a glass bubble. So go, get out and look. And I would encourage you, when you see these areas in the fields, get out, look at them, uh, look at imagery. And if you have any questions, please uh, reach out to your local Pioneer team. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.